It was time for us to leave the city and go back to the country for a refresher. In the process, my parents arrived and it was time to get moving again. Turned out to be our roughest travel day ever. escape route is that way if it's a buff if it's a buffalo and he wants to get us morning walks have turned into a survival how to survive <laughs> if you see a wild animal we think we found a buffalo only because we don't think it's a cow because it's by itself so we always have like what is our escape plan <laughs> but we are very excited to see a wild animal at the same time <laughs> so let's see how it goes You aren't sure if it was a buffalo or not. It looked up but right before we were gonna throw a rock just to see, not at it, like Quigonga. I mean, not to actually hit it, but to see if he'll lift his head. Thank goodness we did it, but he lifted his head and it was a buffalo. We turned around so quick. <laughs> but it's amazing. Uh, this is, this is, makes me more excited for these morning walks. It's scared, but excited. Oh, it's looking at us again. Okay. We're going. We're going. It's looking at us. We're looking at it. It can sense our fear. So let's calm down. Ooh. Okay. We spoke to a Maasai. He told us the rundown. We're walking past it. He said, have no fear. The fence will stop it. <laughs> you cannot tell how close it is. But it's... That's zoomed out. Zoomed in. It's right there. People are just walking past it like it's nothing. So, we've carried the spirit. We're not afraid. Goal of the morning walk. We can hear the river. We're going to try to see it. But it's so early in the morning. You don't know what you'll see. So we're walking slow. We have a game plan just in case we see something where to run to and what to do. Okay, let's go. The terrain. We see the river. Do we go back or do we continue and get closer? <laughs> Okay, these are the options. Go down this way or this way. We went to the non easy way down. But the river's right here. Okay, what's up? <laughs> We're about to go and moving on. We're going to the coast. So let's see how that goes. But the way we're going to end up going is we're going to go by the train. We've never done the train before, so I'm excited to try that one. Okay, we ended up, we thought it was going to start nice, but it didn't. We started, we realized we didn't have our ID on us, so we had to run back, and yeah, we had to get out the car, try to find another car to take us back home, so we can try to now make it, now we're on the rush to see if we can actually make it there on time. Hopefully we can, but we'll see. Okay. Our dilemma has gone from, oh my God, it's horrible, to this is messed up. We ended up forgetting our passports. That's why we ended up going back. We had our regular IDs, but we were like, okay, let's get our passports. Just to be on the safe side, because that's what we registered with. Then all of a sudden, in the process, is it? Then all, no, it's not. Then all of a sudden, in the process, um, the driver that agreed he was going to take us from beginning to the end 
started going all the way to where the house is and then all of a sudden I started getting pissed off and I don't know why because he already knew the situation then to make matters worse he just goes and drops us off at our grocery store that we like to go to all the time and says I'm not taking you guys to the rest of the way knowing we're on a crunch I think it was a money shakedown that he was trying to do that's all that was but you know at the end of the day we're going to end up saving some money doing it this way anyway it sucks because we are in a time crunch but this is just one of the things that people do out here to try to get every last thing up out of you and it's crazy. the sad part about it is who's going to end up paying the guy a little bit more for his time and just kind of just you know his, his urgency because he did have a little urgency yeah. but as time went on he started to get a little bit frustrated feeling like he didn't he he got the shorter end of the stick when in reality we are we are we're getting the shorter end of the stick because we was paying him way more than we was gonna pay for get used. pay if we could use any any other services but either way at the end of the day Stupid. Green's 
she is. She's a little bite. See how she is. It's so Look, she ready. This girl here love to eat. <laughs> I wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Okay. Oh, what kind of bite was that? I see you guys at three in the morning. We just got off the train. It's 3.38 in the morning. The ride wasn't bad. The only thing is, Moby didn't want to go to sleep until 2. <laughs> 2 a.m. We got off the, the train and then went straight to the airport. From what, 4 till 7.30. guys we have made finally made it to our airbnb we're gonna stay yet after a long pretty much it seemed like it's been 24 hours i'm not gonna lie it feels like it it feels like it because we moved through the night that's why yeah so i mean it's just a whole lot has, has happened nothing has changed travel days are still very rough for us <laughs> they're hard they're not exciting because <laughs> that pops up every time. Always. This one was the roughest one yet. Yeah, this, one, this one was pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. For, even, for, for me, I know that for sure. It's, it's trying to beat out Senegal. Yeah, I know. It's Big trying time. to beat out Senegal. No, ain't Senegal. no try dead to me. <laughs> I wish things wasn't like as, as hectic as it was. Then maybe we would have been able to like record a little bit more. Um, uh, I guess to kind of set the tone, we left at 5.30 p.m. That's mm -hmm. when we started the journey, just so yeah. you guys can keep up with the time, time frame. Mm -hmm. Started at 5.30, we ended up getting out the car because we realized we didn't have our Yeah, about passports. halfway in our ride. So we ended up pretty much getting out the car. On the side of the road by the gas station. <laughs> and then... Granted, when we got out, we saw a taxi immediately. Yeah, it was a whole bunch. I guess it's a stage. That's what they call them out here. Mm -hmm. The little areas where the butter butters or uh, the taxis would sit at. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the butter butter, which is a butter cycle. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. So it was. So we stopped at the stage pretty much, and um, we ended up talking to this one guy, and we was trying to negotiate a price with him. You know to take us to the house and to the train station so we sat there for about 10 minutes kind of haggling with each other you know and we finally came to an agreement on the price and uh, we started making our journey back on to the house so um we finally get to the house and we go in the house you know, we get our passports and everything, and we go back into the car. But this this is where you didn't catch. But whenever we pulled up to the house, I heard the driver the entire time saying, and you guys were, were negotiating for a little change, because we were like, it was just the negotiations. It was, you know? And he was like, and you guys wanna, you were fighting over this small change? Because I guess he, he wasn't he wasn't happy we didn't agree with his first choice. Mm -hmm. So he kept saying, and this is what you guys are arguing about? Because I guess he saw the house, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I didn't say anything. I just ended up just getting out the car and getting the stuff. Yeah, I'm just are. Like, that's how business works. It doesn't matter. We made an there. agreement. It doesn't matter. You know, none of that matters. That's what it's called negotiating for a reason because you're negotiating the price. And I asked him five and million times. To be quite honest, his price is way higher. As if we were just to go through an Uber or Uber a Bolt or something like that. His price is way higher. I easily could have just got an Uber or a Bolt from where he was at. And one of them guys around there would have picked it up real quick. Mm -hmm. and, and we I, wouldn't have to deal with it. That's true. And we could have easily gotten in a Bolt yeah. to go quickly too. Mm -hmm. But since we was already talking to him and, you know, we was like, okay, well, we finally came to an agreement. 
we went on ahead of Wynwood. And the goal yes. was for him to take us from where we were to the house and then take us straight to the yes. SGR train station. Yes. That was the plan yeah. with the man. So I kind of noticed like the guy, you know, body language kind of changed and everything. Having a hissy fit. Yeah, whenever we got back in the car. And the thing is, we, we was going to feed the guy more than we had agreed upon anyway because whenever we was first coming, I thought he was doing a fantastic job. He had a sense of urgency, sense of urgency. and safety. Yeah, so I was like, oh, well, this guy is really trying to make sure we don't miss this train. So mm -hmm. we're going to take, you know, pay this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to pay him what he originally asked for. Mm -hmm. But um, so anyway, so this one ended up, after we got our passports and got back in the car, this one ended up leaving her phone in the house so she, uh, so she had to run back to the house and like whenever she was running back to the house he was oh my god talking in the car and i'm like it'll be okay i mean you know i was like she, the house is just right there she'll be right back you know and crazy enough when i was running i was like i completely forgot that because it, it was nighttime nighttime yeah. i completely forgot about wild animals halfway i'm like i right hope there. nothing pops up <laughs> But so anyway, fast forward, we're going down the street. The man ended up dropping, telling us we got to get out the car. So, All I know, he, he kept saying, oh my goodness, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do and, it. And the crazy part about it is like whenever we got out the car, the man was like, I'm just going to leave. And the reason why he was doing that, with, with, he was going to leave without us paying him. Mm -hmm. And the reason why he was doing that is because he knew we was crushing town mm -hmm. and he was just trying to force every last penny out of us. which that, that wasn't even needed. You know, I was going to give you what we agreed on at first. Whatever, you know? Because mm -hmm. I was like, he was doing a good job. But, um, but he kept saying he for not going the full price, he wanted... Um, he, he had set his set price for like... Um, he's surprised that he was gonna get just for dropping us right there, you know, mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. grocery store. Mm -hmm. And we were like, No, we're not gonna give you that much because that's a yeah. lot. Yeah. And you didn't even take us to where we wanted to go. Yeah. And he's like, Well, if you guys are not gonna give it to us, that's fine. They don't pay me at all. At first, yeah. I was like, What's your problem? I will. And he got in his car and actually started driving I ain't, off. I'm not gonna lie. She the one who kind of like, I was, I was like, Why are like, you like, going? We're well, gonna give it to you. Yeah, What's your problem? Because if it was, I'm not gonna babysit no man. Eventually, that's when I ended up saying, I mean, but if you want to go, that's fine, but I'm not kissing after your car. Yeah, if yeah. you want to get in your car and leave, and I'm trying to talk to you and you're driving off, then fine, then go. And that's when he realized, okay, then yeah, we're, yeah. we're done trying that to That was like the most that. craziest thing I've, I've seen. I mean, I don't care if you did the halfway job. The only reason why he was doing that because he was thinking that we was going to run behind him and be like, hey, 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 uh, you know? Yeah. I, come on, please don't leave, you know, and yeah. all that kind of crap. Because who do, who, who, who drives you from a, a 40 minute drive and then just gets back in a car like they don't want to receive pay for even a little bit, that, that portion of their time? Yeah. I, I want to, you know what it I mean? It was a shakedown. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. And taking advantage of the situation. That's exactly what it was. And then it was weird because at first he was like, oh, I'm going to drop you guys off at this particular grocery store. No. And I kept saying, yeah. no, drop us to where we know and we go to. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, 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 I'm going to drop you off here. And I, the way he kept emphasizing it made me feel like, why are you emphasizing? that spot over and over mm -hmm. you know and eventually i was like if you're gonna drop us off you drop us off but we want to be dropped off then and that's when he agreed to it yeah see some of that stuff that she's telling me they be speaking in swahili and i don't even know what be going on half of the time and i hate it because they be saying some slick ass some some slick stuff i, I could i can say some bad words right now but i ain't going to and I give a piece of my mind because I don't know what the hell they saying and she don't tells me quick enough you know to where for, for me to even de de defend us you know like I didn't even know he was saying all that until now oh snap but either way all I know is uh, after we ended up giving him his payment because he was like I don't have no change I was like I'm gonna go get a change because yeah. I ain't giving you anything yeah, yeah. but that's another tactic people always try to pull Oh, I don't have a change to give you back. Always make sure you carry small bills. You know, have your few larger bills or whatever, but always make sure you have your small bills when you're riding around. Mm -hmm. That way nobody can come with you like, oh, I have no change, you know, blah, 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 and trying to, you know, just get one over you. 
which most of the time when people come and they tour certain areas, and if the service is good, people always end up giving a little bit more sometimes. And, and this is why I kept emphasizing so hard about the ID, because if I had my ID, I can have my impressa, because that's how everybody pays. Everybody pays yeah. through their phone. Yeah. Without your ID, you cannot have that. But, so you kind of handcuffed yeah. on some things. Yeah. But with that being said, like if anybody was coming in here to come tour, you can get an impressa too. All you have to do is just have your passport. You take it to an uh, uh, an, an um, Airtel or the Safaricom headquarters. And you take your passport and you can get your SIM card too to put on your phone and have the PESA also. Really? Yes, that's why I was going to go get one, remember? Oh. So I can have a PESA on my phone. Mm. Yeah, you don't have to have a keen ID and all of that. Foreigners can get it too. I'm because that's, right now. That's, how, that's how a lot of places, you pay for things nowadays here. We didn't been to a few spots, they only took credit card and PESA. That was it. Yeah. They didn't take any cash. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, when you go to some, these little fruit stands or whatever on the side of the road, they don't have change to give you back for a thousand bucks, you know? So, I mean, most people use the M-Pesa, that's, that's why, you mm -hmm. know? m is, just to explain what m is, m is kind of like, it's money exchanging through an yeah, app. Yeah, that's all it is. But anyway, so we get back on with our story, because we, we drift away off oh, yeah. the whole m, m -Pesa thing. But anyway, where was I? Um, the guy picked us up at the grocery store. Yeah, we finally got our ride to the train station and we had like about 30 minutes to spare. So in the train station, we had to be there at least 10 minutes before they was getting on the train. So the guy was like, um, I would try to get y'all there as fast as I can, you know, but I can't make any promises, you know? So, um, as we was trying to go, we was going, we finally made it at the train station. And we're like running, right? Mm -hmm. we're like running through the train station. It was hectic. <laughs> and it, it, the good thing is, okay, my parents are here. It's a good thing that my parents are already there because there's a lady at the terminal who ran downstairs to start tickets. We was like, they're fine, they can go in. So yeah. we just went in fast and they were like, just gun it. We were gunning it. Before yeah. we knew it, we saw my mom. And then we we're wondering. Okay, take three. <laughs> Somebody wanted to be a part of the videos again, so here she is. But um, go ahead. So all of a sudden, we ended up gunning it. We found my mom. And then before we knew it. Yeah, she was actually sitting by the train door trying to delay it. Like trying to buy us some time to get there. That's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. She was like, hey, they're coming. They're right two minutes down. Just please don't close these doors. You mm -hmm. know? So. And we went after we found my mom, we were trying to find out where my dad was. Yeah, we didn't know where he was or anything. And all we knew is my mom kept saying they're going to talk to the, the agents that was working there could talk to them agents to kind of tell them like where to find each other because they know the facility better than we do. They wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> they they wanted nothing to do with it. Before we knew it, they were like, you guys got to get in or you guys um, stay left. You stay. But your mom cannot go in because I don't see her ticket. Before we knew it, we were inside the train and my mom was It was left. like, it was, it was like, excuse me, but it was like a whole commotion <laughs> out there. And the thing is, you cannot, like, it's like, two or three sections that you got to pass with that ticket, you know? Like you have a few sections you have to pass to, to, to show that ticket. Mm -hmm. So if she's by that train door, she has a ticket. Cause you going, how many securities you went to? We like went two, like three? two or three security yeah. points. So um, I, I, what happened was I believe, um, she, whenever she gave them, our tickets, she gave them her ticket too. Cause I remember that lady said Miss Lucy. Yeah, she was saying her name yeah, too. Yeah, she said her name too. So that lady had her ticket for sure. Um, so long story short, it was like this big old commotion right at the train doors. They wouldn't let her board the plane unless she ended up paying 900 bob more, which is outrageous. Cause she had her ticket there at the facility. Yeah, she, already had her, she already had her ticket and Another way for them to squeeze money out of you. Yeah, and that's all. That's that whole day. 
that's what that whole day was. Just everybody literally just trying to like get every last penny out of this. Even when he was going through the both yeah, security yeah, checkpoints. I got asked for chai multiple times. Which is money. Which is a sleep got lady. something for it. Mm -hmm. And I know that last checkpoint was going through that security. I'm like, this guy really could keep me here if he wanted to. He really could make me miss this train. You know, I, I had a little bit of change in the little bucket, and I was like, oh, you could just, just that's all I have, just just, just take it. Because if that guy wanted to, he could have been like, take your bed off, take your shoes off. You would take it forever anyway. Et cetera, et cetera, you know, but he kind of just let me walk on. Once I fucking emptied out my pockets, and he seen me put that change in my wallet there, he was like, oh, just come on through. But he legit could have just been like, take that bed off, take your shoes off, and really just made me sit there a while if he wanted to. You know, but um, lucky enough, you know, I had a little spare change I did, you know, to let them have. But, um. So, we ended up going in. We ended up finding my dad in the train to just realize my mom was the only one who didn't make it. Even though we were the ones who almost couldn't make it, she was the she one who couldn't go. Up. Yeah. So, yeah. to wrap it up, yeah. we, she ended up just, instead of her going on the plane, she ended up. On the plane? No, no, on the train, we, she ended up just coming by and playing. Plane. Yeah. Yeah. So we were so, just a yes. few hours apart from arriving. Yeah. So whenever we started, whenever we got off the train, we went on maybe like a two hour. No, it wasn't even two hours. No, it was like a four minute drive. Ten minutes. It was about a thirty minute drive from the train station to the airport. So we just sat over there at the airport and waited on mom to come. It's a few hours, yeah. not many, not yeah. much. And uh, here we are. Finally made it. Hey. Finally made it. <laughs> it was hectic. <laughs> she said she ready to go. Yeah, she waited for this to be over. Yeah. But it was hectic. It's done. I think it was our roughest travel day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. 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 bye.